It's four o'clock in the afternoon, it's the hottest day of the year, and we're in Haggerston Park to witness something that I think might be one of the most brilliant ideas ever. It's Rome. And this is an old mobile library and it's been repurposed as a, an arts and culture space and it's driving around East London and it's bringing music and literature and ideas to anybody who wants to hear them for free. The materials will have the blueprint for life itself. Inside you've got a parquet floor, you've got a lot of space to sit down, you've got shelves full of books about fish and apples and London and boxes of feathers and dominoes and scrabble. I'm not quite sure what we should expect today, but let's go and find out. Covered in cold, leave your friends to give out at night. Listen now, now's the time to listen. The idea I had initially was. I've been trying to work out what it is, and I think it's something between um, Ken Kesey's Magic Bus and Homer Simpson's sort of Holy Fool thing, <laughs> where he's, um, where, um, and so I just think it's, it's can, it can be translated anywhere, I think. It's the idea of picking up people who have, musicians or people who've got local knowledge, it doesn't matter where it goes, and it can roll out with a kind of, we, I found a, when we were caught by the river, we found a way of describing what we thought Roger Deakin's work was, which was pastoral anarchy. And I think that's what we're trying to do with this. Is if you can come to somewhere like this and put on, there's a guy at the moment doing a uh, doing a, a, a musical book in the back of our van, which has got quadraphonic sound, and he's reading he's reading along to pictures whilst somebody's controlling sounds in the background. It did indeed look like pine cones but they were not the size of mountains. They were the size of volcanoes. <laughs> if you can do that on a Friday afternoon while the sun's shining, well, you can do it anywhere. On a positive note, I was, however, very much alive. And let's not forget, I was wearing my swimming trunks. <laughs> I had known they would come in handy. And I felt quite rightly a little smug and superior. I pulled myself somewhat clumsily from the tub, water dripping everywhere. I took my bearings. I was surrounded by the strangest company of characters I had ever seen. Cannibals! So that was completely mind-boggling. It's um, a talking book and uh, it involved sound effects, it involved cannibals, it involved a circus and pine cones. Um, but it was one of the best things I've seen for a long time. I think the idea of people trying to connect with things, it's a, it's a general trend which is, I think, which is farmer's market and local produce. I think things with music and music and literature as well, those things are, uh, those things are, are, are coming in more and more. And the idea was initially to start something which was nature walks and talks and folky kind of gigs. And so it's, it's taken on that sort of twist.